Hey everybody, Travis Bowman here. Thanks so much for checking out my video game music compilation played on the acoustic guitar by yours truly, Travis Bowman. And I'm standing here awkwardly in front of my modest game collection. In the last compilation video, uh, for making it all the way through the video, I showed you a video of my dog, Bubbles, getting a nice uh, little donut treat. So I can't give him another donut because he's just too fat, but um, I can go ahead and show you a couple of games that I have highlighted here in my very modest, very small collection. So let's get into that. This is a very, very modest quote unquote collection. I just have this up here because these are some of my favorite games. Currently, um, starting up here, we got Gun Valkyrie for the Xbox. It's a very complicated uh, game by Sega, very complicated controls. Panzer Dragoon Orta, I just wanted to grab that one because I know it's probably gonna go up in, in value and it was a it was a nice clean copy, complete. And it's a great game too. Uh, Fantasy Star Online version two for the Sega Dreamcast. I have played that game online even to this day. Currently in 2021, we're still playing that game online together. So with the help of a device called the Dream Pie. So make sure you check that out and you can get your Dreamcast online. Jet Grind Radio, a.k.a. Jet Set Radio. Uh, it's a fantastic cell shaded game. It's it, it's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on steroids. It's, it's one of a kind. I'm really glad to have this in my collection. And Shinmu and Shinmu 2, um, the American version of the first game and then the Japanese version of the second game. I can't remember where I got that. I must have got it on eBay like... 10, 12 years ago, not knowing that uh, you can't really play it if you don't speak Japanese, but it's still a uh, really nice, really nice mint copy. Super happy to have that. And Legend of Dragoon and Final Fantasy VIII, uh, two games from my childhood that I played religiously. Was awful at those RPGs back in the day, but uh, I still love them a lot. Uh, the music in both of those games really inspired me. If you haven't checked out either of those games, the music alone is worth it. And uh, Caution Seaman for the Dreamcast. I actually found this on eBay for uh, about 40 bucks a few years ago, believe it or not, and uh, it's a complete copy. It comes with a microphone. It's kind of like a pet simulator, and it's got Leonard Nimoy narrating the game. Very strange game, one of the strangest I've ever played, but I absolutely love it. Love the Dreamcast for games just like that. And stuffed in this corner, I've got all three Mario games, some random NES games that uh, I never really play, as well as a Sega Nomad that I do pull down from the shelf to play every once in a while. And for some reason, a Snorlax plush that I've had since I was a kid. And there you have it. Not very many expensive games in this collection, nothing too fancy to show off, but they're all games that uh, really mean something to me and that I've really enjoyed playing either recently or when I was growing up as a kid. Thanks very much for hanging out with me and checking out these video game arrangements. I've got several more that are on the way on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in seeing those, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you get a notification every time a new video comes out. Thank you so much for your comments. I read them all. I'll try to respond to every single one of them. Let me know what's a song that you want to see covered on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing, and I'll catch you at the next video. Bye-bye.